Good morning, everyone. It's a little, I believe, a little bit before. No, it's a little bit after nine. Um, and I kind of overslept. We had a bad thunderstorm last night, and it made the dogs just bark and bark and bark. So I overslept a little bit today. So I thought I'd try to do a day in the life video. I haven't done one in a long time. I haven't done any videos in a long time. Um, and I'm just going out to the chickens and letting the girls out. I do need to go get probably in about a few 40 minutes so I'm going to bring the other chickens out. I do have two smaller ones as well. I don't think I've had any pictures of them yet. And they're adorable. So we're going to let these growing girls out for the day. i just been laying them out in their pen for right now. This is the chicken coop my husband made. I helped a little bit, but it's really nice. We do need to roof it still. That's why the plastic is over it for when it rains. We do have the stuff to roof it. We're going to do it this weekend. But I just haven't done it yet. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Oh, so it's time to get out. Yes. Hi, girls. And there they are. Okay. So I'm going to move the water out, and then I'll get on to my next task for the day. Okay, so my next task is I'm going to ride my bike, my um, exercise bike. I've been trying to do this for 15 to 30 minutes in the mornings. Um, trying to get up to an hour, but it's going to take me a bit. So I actually ride it outside. I like it being outside, so I'm going to put a video on. Listen to it and enjoy the beautiful morning. So this is breakfast, egg with some watermelon, strawberries, and snap peas. That's Donovan's. He doesn't like watermelon. So I actually have some bacon from last night that I'm warming up right here. I put it on his because I really don't like the bacon, that bacon that we had last night. But he did, so I'm going to give it to him. And a cup of water, eat some breakfast. And I'm letting dishes soak right now, so after breakfast I'll do some dishes. Hey guys, so I am getting ready to season my cast iron. Um, when I was moving they got like a lot of dust and like hair and stuff, like dog hair and stuff on them. So I washed them all really good and I'm going to re-season them. Um, that way I can start using them again because I really want to start using them. Um, so I have five skillets. I'm preheating the oven. They're already washed, oiled, and ready to be put in the oven once it gets to 375 for about an hour. And yeah, pretty excited. Going to do that. I'm going to go get the, I did dishes. Dishes are done. Yay. So I'm going to go get the baby chickens and take them outside right now. Okay, so these are the two little chicks I have. They're about a week and a half younger than these girls. Um, and usually I let them out for a few hours a day. Today is going to be their first day out for pretty much most of the day. It is a little later than I wanted to get them out. It's about 11 right now. But I'm going to leave them out with them today. Um, I think they're... They're, they do okay with them. They kind of keep to themselves right now anyways. But they never really had a problem with the other chicks. So, we shall see. I'll come out and check on them and everything. They're, um, not sure what kind, um, they are. I think they're, I wanted Mystics, but they didn't have any. So these were, like, in the same breed or whatever. And they look very similar, so I got them instead. But they're, they're pretty little guys. They're all pretty. Hi. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let them do their thing today and go back inside. It's about 11, 17, so I'm gonna start working. Um, I'm doing some, I'm just kind of messing around with GIMP for a while, trying to do some shirts and stuff for Etsy. I'm just learning it right now, so. Uh, I really don't have very many shirts on there. I think I have my been there, dug that shirt on my Etsy page. But I'm going to spend about 20 minutes messing around on this and then actually get to listing. Okay, I'm having a kale and cottage cheese salad. I am still listing. So, yeah. 
That is what I'm doing. So we're outside with the boys, or I am. I'm gonna go check on the chickies while they're out here real quick. The babies got out. I put them in the house and they finally got out. Hey, look from back here. There they are. I'm going to move their water down here now since they're all out. Okay, back to listing. Okay, all my cast irons are done and seasoned. So I'm just letting them cool. I had to do two rounds, or two oven full. So, yeah, just letting them cool now. Okay, guys, um, I got done doing my listings I had done. So I'm going to take a break now, and I'm going to make some pie crust. Because I'm going to make tomato pie for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and make the pie crust right now. It's only like 2.30. Um, so I'm using one and a half cup of flour, and I'm using some lard, the lard crust. I like lard um, fried crust, so. And I need some more of So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. In here, I'm going to put the fridge. Get it real far, the freezer, to get it real tight. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my lard kind of cut up and measured, kind of. <laughs> and it's been in the fridge, so it's pretty darn cold. water which I had just put in the freezer so um, it's pretty cold it should work but I usually like to put it in the freezer oh never mind quite a while before but I do have ice so I'm just gonna add that to it now make it nice and cold pastry cutter or you can just use your hands. I'm just going to use my hands to mix everything. And this just makes one pie crust and that's all I need so. You can make pie crust like in the like a blender, but I just find it faster to get a bowl and do it. This cup is not very good to get water out.
Okay guys, so I'm going to finish this and then I'm just going to roll it out. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, we ended up going to town to get a few groceries. And I didn't film it because with the mask and everything, it's just easier to get it in there, get it done, and whatever. But it's a little off before, and I had baked my pie crust before leaving, and now I'm getting ready to make the tomato pie. So I have in here about, I think, two cups of cheese. I use mozzarella and Monterey Jack and some... Let me see it. But some green onions are in there too. About four of them. Now I got this recipe from Cooking with Brenda Gant, I think. It's G-A-N-T-T, -T, I think. I'll link it down below. It's on she's on um, Facebook and she does videos, cooking videos, and she has some really good recipes. So I'm trying this recipe out. I hope it's delicious. So the next thing we're gonna add to our cheese and onion mixture is Three fourth cup of mayonnaise. About okay. and a half a cup of sour cream. Okay, then you just mix that together. Okay, so there's that. That's my oven preheating. <clears throat> and I get my tomatoes. <clears throat> now my tomatoes I cut when I did my um, my um, Uh, pie crust and I'm letting them drain so I'm doing that and I'm just trying to get as much liquid off of them as possible okay and then you just start lining your pie crust with tomatoes. Hopefully I cut enough tomatoes out. <laughs> there should be plenty. Okay. Put that right in there. Get one more. Okay. And then I put this mixture in there on top Okay, and then we're going to put another layer of tomatoes.
probably should have cut one more little tomato, but it'll be okay. Almost perfect. Okay. And then finish off with the mixture. Oh, I forgot to put basil in it. You can put basil in it, too. I knew I was forgetting something. So, I'm supposed to put it in between the layers. I forgot. That's okay, though. Just gonna kind of mix it in. And that's it. You cover it with Parmesan. I don't have Parmesan, so I'm going to use um, mozzarella and then bake it at 350 till it's done. And we'll see what it looks like. Guys, the next thing I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make some juice. I'm going to make some carrot, beet, and cucumber juice. That's kind of I like to make because I like the beets and carrots and cucumbers make it a little bit more liquidy. And it's cheap. <laughs> juice to make and I use a champion juicer I just got it out of the garage so I'm excited to start making juice now when I do juice I make a big batch like I'm using about six or seven pounds of carrots four cucumbers I probably could have used probably double cucumbers even but I didn't and four huge beets they're like this big when I cut them up so I just am going to juice it and I will, it's going to be loud, but I'll do a couple of things for you and show you some juice. But I make a big batch where I can freeze it. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. See if I remember how to do it more importantly. So I'm going to shut it off, that way you don't have to listen to it the whole time. And this is the juice it makes. It's a real nice kind of pink color because of the beet. And that was two carrots, some beet, and a cucumber. And then this is like the leftover stuff, the pulp. And I'm going to be putting this in my compost. So I'm going to do this right now. And I'll show you how much I get when I'm done. Hey guys, so I made two pitchers full. With all that, one bit of advice I will give you if you have, if you juice is, or if you're wanting to juice, no matter what juicer you use, uh, make sure you clean it immediately after juicing because it is so much easier <laughs> to do it that way. If you let it set and wait till your nightly dishes, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get all that pulp stuff out. Now, I only have big bags, which kind of stink, but um, that's what I'm going to be using to freeze these in. Should make about five bags worth. So, and that's that. I'm just going to freeze them, put them in bags, lay them flat in my freezer, and let them freeze. 
and I'll be able to enjoy some juice tomorrow. Okay guys, the tomato pie is done. It looks really good. I'm excited to try it. Um, I did end up spilling like half a bag of juice, so I only ended up with four bags, but it's okay. Um, I drank the cup that was left over, so, but it did go everywhere. It looked like a, it was a mess. <laughs> Um, but anyways, we're going to dig into this and have a good supper. So Donovan's roofing the chicken coop right now. Um, that way we don't have to have that plastic sheeting on there anymore. And yeah, the girls are, oh, they're just being chickens. I threw some of that, um, juice pulp that I had from the juice on the ground for them. They seem to munch on it a little bit trying to get them to eat like some scraps and stuff so um, kind of hard they're not kind of picky girls I don't know where the little ones are oh they're underneath the house okay guys so I'm going through totes of stuff I've got like last weekend and categorizing it getting it ready for photographs so that's what I'm doing tonight and I'm taking a break and I'm getting ready to go outside to put the chickens up. So I will show you that. And that will probably be the end of the vlog. Hey guys, they're in their house for the night. And we got their nesting box put in today. I mean, they're pretty little to have to worry about that yet. But we got them in anyways. And, yep, yeah, we're going to go get them some food. But other than that, they're good to go. They got their water, their grit. And we will say good night, guys. We will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.